Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use if and function in Power BI wherein you can compare two or more columns based on the conditions that you want based on the values which are there in those particular columns and return a certain result. So what I mean by that is, for example, uh, in this particular sample data set here, which I have downloaded from Kaggle. Now, if you want data sets, uh, and if you don't have data set to learn and practice Power BI, I have made a separate tutorial where you can go and watch and download sample data sets to play around with. So this is one of the data set which I've downloaded from the Kaggle website. And I have this discount and cashback column over here. Now this discount and cashback are in percentages. So basically it tells me that on these, on these products over here, I have 0% discount, but I have a cashback of so and so percentage. Now, if we want to calculate whether a particular product has both discount as well as cashback. Now, I want a column here where it says that uh, it has both discount as well as cashback. Okay. So how do we do this in Power BI? So we will get started with this. Let's go here and create a new column. So let's start writing the DAX over here. Let me just zoom in this a bit. And then I'll, I will add this a new column. Um, we'll call this as uh, disk slash cash back. Okay, is equals to. We will start with if, and we'll say and. So that's asking us to enter the first logical condition, which is we will go ahead with the uh, column that we have over here. Discount if discount. Okay, is greater than zero okay comma and our second logical condition over here which is cash back okay we'll say cash back is greater than zero okay and then close the bracket here for the and condition over here okay so basically what this condition is doing is that we are checking if our fashion in the fashion data set the discount is more than zero and the cash pack is more than zero then we say return what if if both of these are matching then we say return uh, discount and cash pack or we'll just call it as cb applicable applicable okay if it is not we will just say um, or leave it blank okay We'll close the bracket here and press enter now let's go back to our data set so we will see over here the discount is zero and cashback is one okay so it is returning blank okay now we will go over here and uncheck zero okay now you if you see over here we have a discount and we have a cashback as well we are returning it as discount and cashback applicable over here Likewise, if you look at the first row over here, it says that it is blank because the cashback is zero and the discount is 20. Okay. Now, if you want, you can also add in another condition over here to tell whether we have discount or cashback applicable. So let's go back here and edit the query. Okay. Let me take this to a new line so that you can see this better and also format this. Now I'm going to add another if condition over here. So I'm going to get rid of this false statement that we had or the blanks that we had over here and type in if if my discount is greater than zero then return discount only okay close the quotes comma so if this condition is false then i want this to return so i want if this condition is false, then return cash back only. Okay, close the code and press, close the code and close the bracket and press enter. Okay, so let's go back here to our data set now. So if we look at this particular example, let me just bring in all the data sets over here or let me just filter this out. So if you see over here, the discount is zero, the cashback is one, we're, we're saying this as cashback only, okay? Now let's filter cashback for zero, and then look at this, the discount is discount only. And if we look at discount and cashback both together now, it is now saying 
let me filter it out for discount as well. If you click on OK, now this says discount and cash cashback applicable. This is how you can use the if and statement to check multiple uh, conditions on various number of columns and return results. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope this video has helped you. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.